What up, guys? It is January 11th. It's Wednesday. It's 9.07 a.m. And this is the crypto market update. So we're going to dive into it. We have the dollar right here. And then we have um, the U.S. 10-year bonds, NASDAQ 100, Bitcoin, XRP, XLM, XRP to XLM, Flare. We're going to look at Gala. We're going to look at Songbird because we might have found a triple hopscotch play that will be a grand slam. It will be a grand slam if we can do it flawlessly. So that's what we're going to have our eyes on. So if you haven't already, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, get updated in real time because we're going to get back into the deep dives, the newsletters. And I have something as far as a newsletter today that is going to pique your interest as far as I'm getting, I'm noticing some things, some narratives kind of piling up just in the past, well, today and yesterday that leads me to believe around the end of January, February, we could see potential black swan, potential. So I will share that in the newsletter today. If you want to get updated when I release that, subscribe, hit the notification bell. But we're looking at the dollar right now. So I'm on the one hour chart. And I had sent a message or a private video into the Discord for the members in there. So if you haven't already, I'll put the link in the bio. You can come join it. It'll be the free version of the Discord. You won't have the automated signals or anything, but come join it. We're chatting it up in there today. But in that video, I had said, hey, we have these two clear levels, the horizontal white lines here. If we break above, then the dollar is going to rebound a little bit higher. Cryptos might fall. But if we get rejected here and we ultimately pull down and break below this one, then it's game on and crypto is going to have some fireworks. So what, what we've seen so far, I mean, I made that video four hours ago. It was like 5 a.m. I pulled an all-nighter because I actually ran out of heating oil. So my house is brick right now. I had to call an emergency heating oil company to come in. So they're coming to take care of that. But anyways, you can see we got rejected once. You know, we, we broke down below. We got back above it, rejected, held that support, came up, rejected. Right now, it's we're trying to hold this ribbon as support for the dollar. So that's what we're seeing if we pull this Fibonacci. We're on the, a very low tie, time frame, but it's one of those moments where this is going to call the direction probably for the rest of this week. So yeah, we came down to test the 702, but right now we haven't tested the 786 yet. So we we still need to see if we're going to come up and battle with this level again. It's likely if we do push up, if I take this top and say this is the bottom, I mean, we have that 786 sitting right at that horizontal line that we need to get rejected at. So I think on the next move here, we're going to see the official move, especially we're 20 minutes. So the stock market opens up that we're definitely going to see the the next move here be the actual move to lead us into what happens the rest of the day. So now let's go into the bond yields, six hour chart. Things are getting interesting. Things are getting interesting. I'm going to take this low to this high. You, I, I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, we got a vertical blue buy now signal, right? The vertical yellow sell now nailed this top here. I'm kind of weary about this vertical blue buy now. I think this might be a fake out. Because what we're seeing here is the stock RSI is crossing back down right now. We see that the TSI did cross, but the MACD hasn't yet. And it could be one of, I'm going to try to get an example, like one of these where it like looks like it's going to cross in. Like say maybe like, I get a good one. Yeah. So say like something like this right here. Let's just say, for example, it. No, no, no. Sorry. I think this is a good one. Like it looks like it's going to go and it's right about to. And then ultimately it pulls back down like that. And if I pull up what happened with that chart right over here. Yeah, it does seem like that to be the case. If I go to the 12 hour chart, though, I mean, we did come retest the 786 already, like from this low to this high. We came back down. We tested the 786. So if we do take out these highs here, it's likely we're going to come and test the 786 to the upside. And at this point, 3.81.6%, we would need to get rejected. But I mean, on the 12 hour chart, we're below the 200 moving average right now. And we're seeing some resistance come in and the stock RSI is below this 50 line. The TSI is getting below this um, 50 line here. You can see it. I mean, sorry, the zero line getting into some bearish territory. We can see the last time we got into the bearish territory was here on November 10th. We know what happened at that point. So we could be at a capitulation moment for the bond yields. So that along with the dollar where it's at, along with where's the stock market at. All right, let's take a look. Four hour chart. 
well, let's just kind of go into this move right here. And we can see if we take this high to this low, we're battling with the 786. I'm going to have to make a special 786 Fibonacci indicator for sure. A Stargate one a special because we use it a lot and it, it's just really good at knowing the the targets when we break out of the 786 or knowing hey when's a good re-entry as far as on a if this were to pull down here right from this low say this is the top here say we do come down and we start holding on the 786 here now we can say hey this this looks like a good point for an entry but if we break then we know we can start to target down here so i'm going to make a special indicator but right now we're battling with a crucial level for the stock market bitcoin Breaking down lower right now as we speak. We can look at the four-hour chart. No, I'm going to go to the one-hour. I'm going to go to lower time frame. Yeah, it looks like we're going to see a little bit of a correction here uh, for crypto. Dollar is likely going to pop up. Uh, but I do think ultimately at the end of the day or uh, as the day goes on, we will see correction come in for the dollar and crypto is kind of continuing on its continue on its uptrend. I already put the Fibonacci's here. And... Oh, and you can see that I took this low to this high. We came down. We're breaking the 786 so far as we speak. 15 minute chart has prepared to buy soon. There's no buy now yet. So let's go to the 30 minute, see where that's at. And you can see that if we break down and we actually confirm this breakdown from this kind of move right here, then we're going to come to 17,300. That's sitting kind of right at this key level where we found. Like we popped through here, it came out resistance, so held a support, we went. So it's likely we do got to come down and test this level um, again. And then let me, and that's sitting right where the, the 55 moving average is, where the, the EMA ribbon is on the one hour chart. So that does look like a likely place, but if we have a deeper correction, the, the four, let me actually hide this too, so clear a picture. You can see that. The 4.236 is sitting at 17,000. And 17,000 was a critical level that we got above. So it does make sense that we may have to come back down, retest that as support. And then the 200 moving average is sitting there with the one hour chart. Let's go to the four hour chart. And we can see that the trend line channel, we broke through a little here, but is light, like on that trajectory would, would coincide with that. Let me kind of clean this up and see if they line up better as far as yeah so we had this support all up here this was like a fake breakdown popped right back up if we did fall down to that level the 484.236 so the trend line sitting right there so i would say that would be an area where we'd find some support at if i take this low say that was the top over here that's sitting right where the 786 is right these things line up so yeah to the downside i'd be looking for an entry at like 17,000 for bitcoin if we keep, keep breaking down lower here but if we break back above 17,450 and we start closing some bodies of the candles above there on the four hour chart, it's likely we're going to go up on a bigger run here and it'll probably be a parabolic run because I mean, if we start to do, you know, something like that and we break out of this, then it'll probably go quick like that. But for the moment on the four hour chart, it does look like we're, we're seeing some cross down. So we would need to see in the next couple hours here, some momentum pick back up to the upside. Uh, let's go to XRP. This is XRP USD for Femex. Let me pull up a better one. All right, so we're on the Bitstamp chart. I'm gonna go to the 30 minute time frame. Could be seeing a little double toppy action. We're coiling up though, so we're gonna see this happen within the next hour where we're seeing, and I'll hide this for now. You can see that uh, we have the void lines coming in close here like that. They're coiling up. So for the bottom of the void line, it's sitting around like 36 cents. And then we have the 786 sitting around. Yeah, same area. Well, actually, we actually came down to, re to test the 786. So from this low to this high, we came back down. We held the 786 as support. And now we're breaking up higher, though. We are breaking up higher for XRP. And I like the look of these candles here. One hour chart, like it does look like we're really trying to rip up for XRP. Yeah, but I do want to see some more like kind of dark green candles pull here on the higher time frames. We are seeing it. Three hour chart, we are seeing it. Yeah. So I want to just see the follow through as far as the price action goes. 
but we did see it this morning. We got a five percenter and then four hour chart. We are seeing the stock RSI cross up TSI is above the zero line. We did break above the 200 moving average. We had said that we haven't done that since like November 8. If we go to the six hour chart, that's what we were really watching because we haven't done that since November 8 as well too. You can see once we broke below it, rejection, 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 rejection. And now we're, we're wrestling with it right now. And I do think we have the juice to get above it, but if we do, it may be short lived, something like that. And then we come back down to test it as support. And that might be a good entry to then see the higher prices here. So that's what I'm seeing there. Let's go to XLM. XLM right now is lagging behind XRP, but that does not mean that, you know, XLM doesn't look good. If we pull, so we pull this low, this low right here to this high up here. We came down, we tested the 702 so far. We could go a little lower, but ultimately we're, at, we're right at a level where we should bounce. If we do pull down a little more, we got the, the 15, 200, I'm sorry, the 30 minute 200 movement average sitting right there. And once we broke above that 200 moving average on the 30 minute, we did start going on a run. So I want to maintain above there because then we could come retest back down to some levels we don't want to go to at the moment. One hour chart. We are seeing the momentum come down. So XRP looks better than XLM at the moment and showing more strength. The one hour chart, we did hold this EMA ribbon and we're doing that right now. So I'd want to see that continue. If we do break down here though, yeah, we're going to come down to the 1.618 extension here, which is sitting right where that one hour 200 moving average is. Then if we go to XRP against XLM, you can clearly see that. Uh, all right, let me actually pan it out a little bit because what we're close to doing is something that hasn't been done since March 2017. You can see these two kind of horizontal lines that I have on the top of this and on the bottom. So if we're looking at this chart, XRP to XLM, if the chart's going up, XRP is outperforming XLM. We read it just like XRP to USD. If the chart is going up, XRP is doing good in US dollar terms, like it's rising in value. So same thing, same concept applies when we do the pair to pair. XRP is if it's the charts going up, is rising in value more against XLM in comparison to gains. So maybe XLM is going up 10% against USD, but XRP against USD is going up 20%. This chart will show that XRP against XLM is going up. So where we're at, I hope that made sense because I'm sure a lot of people had questions about that. But the one day chart, you can see Ever since 2015, this has been like our range where we just kind of ping pong back and forth. But right here was when XRP in March of 2017 went crazy, it went 80 X in 80 days and ultimately outperformed the whole year. XRP was the top performer in that bull run. And that shows right here that kind of deep deviation out of this kind of range that we were just in, right? And then we got kind of got it to the, the flip side inverse here back in March of 2021. I think that was around the SC lawsuit. So what I'm thinking is there's going to be a news announcement or something here, because if XRP does break out above here, I mean, the last time was back here where it was like an anomaly, what XRP did, just like the last time back here when it broke down like that was an anomaly with the SC lawsuit. So we're at the moment of a potential catalyst or a news event for XRP, because I don't think it would be something negative that happens to XLM. If it's something positive announced for XLM, then and it starts to rise, then you'll likely see that, which is probably normal price action to happen with this chart. But if we do see XRP start to explode here, it's likely a positive catalyst or news event for XRP that has just been dropped. So keep that on your radar. If I call that on video, that's going to be huge. But yeah, so like we haven't seen this for a very long time. We're talking five years, six years. And yeah, we're at that moment. You do not want to miss this trade. So definitely get in the Discord. The link will be in the bio if you haven't already. Yeah, we're on the weekly chart. You're looking at it. You can see that clear horizontal resistance, clear horizontal support. And then, but right now it does look like the TSI wants to curl over. Uh, stock our size wants to curl over, but out of nowhere, we could hear a news event, catalyst, etc. So this is a trade that could potentially, if I take this top down to, well, actually, let me do this. This top down to this bottom, we could come up here to, to retest these highs back here, which would be a big move if we break out. That's around three times. So you can make three times more your X. XLM by converting some into XRP right now if this plays out. But to the downside, 
if we were to t- say, hey, this is breaking back below this horizontal line, I'm going to take this low to this high and we could see, all right, we'll likely come down to the 786. And that would be a move of 30, like 30, 33%. So if we see that happening, we can convert some XRP to XLM and make a third more of our XRP bag. So that's how we're playing it. Come join the Discord. All right, so we got Flare right now. Uh, there's not much price action, so there's nothing really much we can say about it besides like the short-term trend. I mean, we're riding this trend line up. We're pressing up against that previous kind of dr- resistance here that we found after we dumped off a clip. We came up, and now we're testing it right now. If we do break up from that point, we could see you know some big moves from Flares. It just started trading, so it's going to be volatile, but you could see a 60% move up. That would be nice to catch. So we're going to keep an eye on that in the Discord for the alerts. Gala. Let's take a look. One day chart. I'm just for Gala. We want to be careful about this because it did rise a lot. So if I was holding Gala right now, I'd be thinking of maybe converting it to XLM and to probably honestly converting your Gala into Songbird. Because I think like if we're let me do this because and compare them to one another because we've seen that Gala and Songbird kind of pull the same moves here. So let's let's look at that. All right, on the left side is Songbird, on the right side is Gala. I mean, they look very eerily similar. If I was a Gala holder, I'd be converting some Gala in a Songbird right now because we saw what Songbird did, and ultimately that's going to happen again. I mean, we're probably testing the 786 retracement, but I would say Gala is lagging behind what Songbird is doing because you saw Beanstalk up. Well, Songbird, Beanstalk up. And I'm going to drag my cursor and you can see Songbird moved first, right? You can see where the cursor is right there to there. Songbird moved first, right? When Songbird topped, it moved into Gala. And as Gala is topping, it's looking like it's starting to move into Songbird. If I was a Gala holder, not financial advice, I'd be converting some into Songbird. And because now we got a good roadmap for this triple hopscotch. So shout out to Barry the System because he sh- shouted that play out. And that's a grand slam. I mean, like, I'm looking at this right now, and it's clear as day that Songbird is moving faster and foreshadowing Gala. So, but both these, I mean, pulled the crazy moves. They're probably the top performers in this latest, like, pop up. So we want to play Songbird. We want to play Gala. We want to play XRP and XLM. That's going to be our focus maybe for the next couple of weeks here. So, that's what I would be doing if I was a Gala bag holder. I'd be converting some to Songbird, waiting for Gala to drop, and then taking a look in the Discord, the pair-to-pair signals to convert back in and accumulate more Gala. Because I'm definitely going to be eyeing that because I want to accumulate some more long-term Gala holdings. So that is that. Now, yeah, so I think that's going to be it. I want to push this out to you guys so you guys can see it before any crazy action goes on. So one last look at the dollar. Looking like we got, we're got we breaking down lower. Let's see. XRP breaking up higher, Bitcoin staying flat, staying even, holding up here. So I'm going to push this out to you guys. Exciting times ahead. We're crushing it. So come join the Discord. It's free. Also, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next videos today.